Time for the evening rush. APD confirming to us that crimes against children and homicide detectives now assisting in the investigation into a deadly fire. Authorities tell us a child died in that apartment complex fire in the Heights. No word on that child's age or identity. Two other children, a 13 year old and a two year old are in the hospital with smoke inhalation and have critical injuries. Crews responded to the Sierra Meadows apartments just after two this morning. Well, our next big weather maker is a storm system coming in from Arizona tonight. As it slides its way on through, we'll start to see the showers expand here in the metro area early tomorrow morning. Snow will start to fall above 9,000 feet in the northern mountains, and we may even get some strong thunderstorms across portions of the northeast. And, of course, snow up over the northern mountains. And more on that as we get a little closer to it. 42-41 off real. He's in the trailer. Is, there, is all the kids okay? The kids are fine. The kids are fine. Miguel Garcia is expected in court on Monday, facing six different charges for that chase and crash. Santa Fe County deputies say he almost hit an officer during a chase and later crashed into a room where four young children were sleeping at the Lone Star Mobile Home Park. They were not hurt. This bus driver screaming profanities at the elementary school students in her bus. Those comments, the reason APS is asking the bus company to ban her. Officials tell us the bus and the driver are contracted through the Albert Sanchez bus company that works with APS. No word on what sparked the comments. The drivers are required to take a training course. APS in this case has apologized. Former District Court Judge Pat Murdoch has died. Murdoch served for 26 years as a District Court Judge and was chief criminal judge Murdoch stepped down from the bench in 2011 when charges revealed his involvement with the prostitute. Murdoch was 67. The first Republican has announced his intention to run for Tom Udall's U.S. Senate seat when Udall vacates that seat at the end of his term. Gavin Clarkson says he will seek the Republican nomination in the 2020 election. He says his campaign will focus on immigration and free speech on public campuses. His opponent already has a head start when it comes to fundraising. Congressman Ben Ray Lujan raising more than a half a million dollars in the race for U.S. Senate. In the Congressional District 2 race, Democratic incumbent Zochil Torres Small raising nearly $453,000. Republican Yvette Harrell raising more than $210,000. Happening now, $75,000 will go to help asylum seekers in Las Cruces. The city says more than 500 asylum seekers have been dropped off by Border Patrol since Friday. The funding approved by city councilors will go toward essentials like food and water. A man accused of shooting and killing a man at Los Altos Park faces a murder charge. The next step appearing before a judge. Witnesses say last night Stephen Beck confronted two men at the skate park accusing them of selling drugs to kids. Police say Beck shot and killed a man named Cody Raver. Police in Santa Fe investigating shots fired at the Santa Fe Place Mall. Police say two men got into a fight at the food court last night, then went outside and fired the shots. Police say no one was hurt. After two days of a very low metro threat index, it goes way up for tomorrow. We're up to a seven, and the main reason why is, yes, the clouds will thicken and the temperatures will drop, but more importantly, we will see showers and storms across the area as our storm moves in. Now to a scam alert for you at targeting the elderly this month. The FBI busted two dozen people in a $1.2 billion scam selling braces to the elderly. Officials say you should always see physicians first. Happening now, crews are continuing to fix potholes all across the metro. Since last July, crews have fixed nearly 9,000 potholes. That's about 1,000 more potholes than they see on average each year. If you find a pothole, call 311. You might see a survey in your mailbox ask about the, asking about the 311 app. The city wants to know how they're doing and if they need to revamp the way 311 handles reports. They are also asking if people would rather contact 311 through text message or Facebook. You have until May to fill it out. Local bomb squads from Kerlin Air Force Base and New Mexico State Police are preparing for a big competition next month. The 13th annual Robot Rodeo will take place at Sandia National Labs. Teams will use robots to maneuver obstacle courses, disable bombs, and more. A New Mexico man is getting a lot of attention for his pies. Ron Bernitsky competed in the National Pie Competition in Orlando, Florida this weekend. He took home an award for Best Comstock Pie, and congratulations. 